T minus 25 seconds. Status check. Go Atlas. Go Centaur. Go Starliner. Five, four, three, two, one, and lift off the rise of Starliner and a new era in human spaceflight. Now 10 seconds into flight. People speak on the pitch over program. Body rate responses look good. Baby. We've cleared the tower. Now 10 seconds in the flight. Vehicles begun the pitch over program. Body rate responses look good. Now 15 seconds in. The U's gone to close the control. Atlas is broken into Atlas daylight. Five is now traveling at over five times the speed of sound. Centaur reaction control system is now pressurizing the flight levels. System response looks good. Three minutes, ten seconds into flight. Atlas five is now 38 miles in altitude, 80 miles downrange distance, traveling at 5,800 miles per hour. RD-180 engine operating parameters continue to look good. Now one minute remaining until engine cutoff. Body rate responses continue to look good throughout the booster phase of flight. And RD-180 is now 
now throttling to maintain a constant 3.5 G acceleration limit. Engine responses will all look good. Three minutes, 55 seconds into flight. And Centaur has begun the boost phase chill down sequence. 20 seconds to Vico. Party 180 continuing to look good as it follows to maintain that constant 3.5 G acceleration limit. There's the jellyfish. That was the end on the open loop in preparation for Vico. And standing by for Vico. And we have Vico booster engine coming out for stage separation. And we have good indication of stage separation. We have pre start on the RL10. Standing by for ignition. We have ignition and full thrust on both RL10 engines. Chamber pressures look good on both engines. And standing by for aeroskirt jettison. And we have good indication of aeroskirt jettison. Centaur now resuming active attitude control after successful aeroskirt jettison. Tuber pressures on both RL10 engines continue to look good. Now passing 5 minutes 30 seconds into flight. And the Centaur RCS system is beginning the initial thruster firings for system thermal conditioning. System response looks good. And the engine propellant utilization system has gone to closed loop control. Engine response remains nominal. Now passing six minutes into flight. So still about six minutes of powered flight remaining until the Centaur drops Starliner off in its suborbital launch trajectory. Centaur is now 95 miles in altitude, 570 miles downrange distance, traveling at 12,000 miles an hour.